Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Playing the Blinder with me, the Greedy Blinder. Now, this is a last second change of topic. The video is still about Nathan Thompson, but I was looking through YouTube for some other clips to use in the video I was going to make about Nathan Thompson, and I came across this. So stick around. Tidy! Nathan Thompson, what's up my friend, how are you? Are you, are you... I'm doing great, Are you out of, asking, Are you out of jail? <laughs> Yeah, because being in jail is absolutely hysterical, isn't it? Jeronism, you stain. Now, I took this video from the Negative Exponents channel. It's a smaller channel, but shout out to Negative Exponents, because I've taken your video. But it looks like you've uploaded it from another channel anyway, so... Yeah, I hope you don't mind. This is an interview that Nathan Thompson has given to Jeronism after being released from jail. And, well, you'll see. My mind is completely blown that this guy has zero self-awareness and cannot even for a second see that he's done anything inappropriate towards children good 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 because I, I heard stories but uh you want to tell everybody what happened uh yeah of course so i was just walking my dog in the neighborhood there were some kids uh they were on recess you know nine ten eleven year old kids you know they weren't really young five six year old but they were a little bit older you know adolescents <laughs> yeah, not too young at all obviously there's nothing wrong with it because they are adolescents even though adolescence actually is the transitional stage from childhood to adulthood that occurs between the ages of 13 and 19 not 9 10 or 11 nathan you creepy weirdo children like y young adults in my opinion and in my opinion a young adult is somebody above the age of 18 because you don't reach adulthood in the uk certainly until you're the age of 18. and then um they were coming towards me and then teachers scared them you know the boogeyman with the flatter flyers is a threat <laughs> don't go near the fence yeah and with good reason because you're a creepy bearded dude wearing a baseball cap a strange man approaching a playground isn't normal behavior, Nathan, no matter which way you think of it. Everyone needs to run away, and so I just voiced that large bodies of water do not curve. Except for when they do, obviously, which they do because we live on a globe. And that's besides the point anyway, Nathan. What you shouted out is completely irrelevant. It's the fact that you shouted anything out to a group of 9, 10 and 11 year old children. That is the problem. And it's a damn shame that you can't see that. And the next day, police showed up at my house, asked me questions about it and said they were just doing an investigation. And I said, all right, cool, I answer all their questions. And the next day, four police showed up at my house and arrested me for disorderly conduct. And in my opinion, getting arrested for disorderly conduct means you got off very, very lightly. Go back to that school and do that at collection time when there are dads there and mothers there and see what sort of reaction you get then or maybe you wouldn't be quite so brave then mr thompson and took me to jail and booked me fingerprints mugshot the whole nine yards and everyone in jail was laughing going why didn't they just write you a ticket so you value the opinion of people that are already in jail more than the people that uphold the law in your own country Sounds pretty logical to me, knowing what I know about you. The police have got a certain amount of leeway to deal with things as they see fit. And the reason they didn't just give you a ticket, Nathan, is because they obviously see it as an offence which is far more serious than something that would just need you to be ticketed and warned on the street. That is insane. That's insane. Why would they bring you in? Oh That's boy. so stupid. That's so stupid. But nowhere near as stupid as harassing children while they're in the care of their school. My my question yeah, Nathan, is: that. Did you did, did you flat smack the police on the way to the jail? Oh boy, of course. <laughs> well, I'm glad you find it so funny. But how much will you be laughing if and when? And I hope it's when you get charged because then I don't think you'll find it anywhere near as humorous. Uh, well, actually I didn't. Uh, once I found out they were arresting me and then I asked why I was being arrested and they said, you know why you're being arrested. They didn't read me any of my rights. So I had none of that. They just put me in the back of the car, took me to jail. I actually didn't say anything to any of them because I just 
didn't want to be loud and boisterous like they thought I was going to be. Come on, Nathan. There's no need to try and be the big man in front of all your friends. You were terrified because you knew exactly what you'd done and you knew potentially how much trouble you were going to be in for harassing school children. Ew. So, I just went in quietly and calmly, but once I got in there, I definitely talked to all the correctional officers and all the inmates about Flat Earth and pretty much, you know, I, I flat smacked everyone in there. There were rumors going on around the jail that you may be a nonce? To where like people would meet me and be like, hey, I heard you're in here for flat smacking a bunch of kids. Or <laughs> they said flat share and flat earth with a bunch of kids. And so yeah, that, that happened. Whew. What an achievement, Nathan. Your parents must be so proud. How dare you teach children or try and talk to them? Ah, sorry, I didn't realize that Nathan Thompson was a qualified school teacher and that he had the permission of each and every parent of all those children to speak to them. So I must have missed that in the original video. My apologies. So, so Nathan, you have you have a hearing no. coming up in a month. Are, are you gonna are you gonna prepare a speech saying you know the the school system is lying to our kids? All science proves you know the Earth is flat. You know only pseudoscience, religious beliefs, uh, you know are what you're teaching. Uh, are you gonna try to make some sort of statement like that? Well, of course he is, because you lot should know better than most that Nathan Thompson is a complete moron. Yeah, I'd love to. If they'll let me present a case, I will. I'm also, you know, trying to look for a lawyer. If some ACLU attorney wants to take my case, I'd love that, but... Now, and I did have to look this up, because I'm not an American. I know, hard to believe, right? But the ACLU is a non-profit organization which was set up in 1920 and is run by volunteer lawyers. Now, I'm not a lawyer. I know a lawyer. And I know that when he takes a case on, he likes to take it on, knowing that he can win it. But unfortunately for you, Nathan, you have clearly broken the law. So what lawyer is going to take your case on for free when he will be able to see as plain as the nose on his face that there is absolutely no way he can prove you did nothing wrong? Because you did. You harassed kids. In a playground. At a school in broad daylight, and for extra bonus idiot points, you transmitted it live on your YouTube channel. So you can't even deny it. Uh, we'll see, I mean, I didn't. I was in an article today uh, with the Greenville News and USA Today. So they called me and asked me questions about what happened. And um, the, I don't know, it's just, it's blown up. I think it could be a pretty big deal. It seems like hate a hate crime in my opinion because they're trying to silence my first amendment rights i mean i didn't intrude on the school i was on a public sidewalk and i just used my first amendment rights and they want to arbitrarily decide that that is disorderly conduct <clears throat> okay congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or the right of the people peaceably to assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. <laughs> so Flat Earth is a religion then? <laughs> but you never thought you'd hear a Welsh guy reading out the First Amendment, did you? Just in case I've misunderstood it, because as I've said, not that I need to say, but I'm not American. I know, nuts, right? As far as I can tell by reading through the First Amendment, it pertains to religion. And what it's basically saying is that if somebody has religious beliefs, then they're free to talk about them and they can't be silenced. Am I right or am I wrong? Let me know down in the comments. The Bible clearly states it'd be better if a millstone were hung around your neck and you were cast into the sea if you mislead children or cause little ones to stumble. Whew, pretty intense, Nathan. Are you suggesting the punishment you should receive yourself for harassing those poor kids or... Am I getting hold of the wrong end of the stick? Because Millstone is a bit biblical, it's a bit outdated. Maybe some concrete shoes and jump off a bridge? Just a suggestion if you're riddled with guilt. Although I highly doubt it being a sociopathic piece of crap. Tidy! Yeah, Nathan Thompson. I've heard he loves me. <laughs> and why wouldn't he, right? If you do want to follow me outside of YouTube, you can find me as at the Creaky Blinder on all social media platforms. I've just passed 2,000 followers on Twitter, which is pretty awesome, but I'd like to get it higher. And I have got 23,500 subscribers now, so, you know, 
follow Creaky on Twitter. Make me feel better about myself because <laughs> I'm just empty inside. If it is your first time here and you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a like. Turn on bell notifications, hit the subscribe button, blah, 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 chicky, chicky, cha, all that good stuff. And um, yeah, that was a bit awkward, actually. And go in, huh? See you next time. Bye-bye.